Well, the Maple Leafs are going to be looking to take advantage of their home crowd when they host the Bruins in Game 3 tonight with the series tied 1-1. Right now, we're joined live by TSN Radio's Matt Cause. Okay, Matt, um, Austin Matthews, Nylander, what's going on here? Well, let's start with what we do know. Austin Matthews played perhaps his best game as a Maple Leaf in game two against Boston. Not only the game-winning goal, and that was a difficult one for the score, he also had two assists. He was also great defensively, swatted the puck away with about a minute left. That was the best version we've seen of Austin Matthews, and I think we're all curious to see what sort of encore do we get. If you can get even, what, 90% of what that was on, uh, on Monday night, the Leafs should be in good shape. As for Nylander, we're still waiting some of our reporters at TSN are saying it looks like it's likely Nylander will not play tonight, even though he was on the ice and he was practicing. It feels like he is close, and we're, we're going to have to wait. We might not know till around 6 o'clock or so when the official lineup's released. Maybe they're resting him because there is an extra day off because Game 4 wouldn't be until Saturday night. Okay, Matt, also I'm looking at a post on social media from the Bruins coach saying that I would rather – be here Thursday, Friday, if I'm being honest. I think we're spending more time in Toronto than Toronto spending in Boston, and we're the home team. Have you seen that? I haven't seen that. That's, that is a new one for me. Is that, is that some sort of new heat that's going on, a little, a little bit of trash talking? No, that's a, that's a new one. I've been so focused on what's going on in the ice. I haven't been seeing what's going on on social media. All right, well, let's talk about this. Uh, home ice. You know what I'm saying? This is game three, and you have fans saying, okay, this is the year. You know, ESPN.com is also saying that uh, the Leafs will get the trophy. What are your thoughts? <laughs> Uh, the Leafs getting the trophy, I will go nowhere near any, anything like that. I will say it's going to be an incredible environment tonight in Toronto. And I know Leaf fans often get criticized, and some, sometimes rightfully so. It's not as loud as you would want in other barns in North America. But it's going to be an intense environment. You know the guy I can't wait for? I can't wait to see Max Domi at home. This was a guy as a kid sitting on his dad's lap, sitting with friends, watching his dad play for the Maple Leafs back in the day. I'm curious about that. I think, though, statistically, there isn't as much of an advantage with home court in the NHL as there is in the NBA. But it's going to be a great environment inside, maybe even more so outside of Maple Leaf Square. Okay, so as we wrap up, what do you see happening tonight? I see uh, pain and misery for both sides. I think this is going to be a very close game. Uh, you had great goaltending both sides. Um, it, it, I I would actually expect Boston maybe to pull it out. I think this series is going to go seven. The main thing I'm looking for is, one, Austin Matthews, and two, that second line, Mitch Marner, can he actually produce on the score sheet? If he can, Toronto wins. But let's face it, no matter what happens tonight, we're probably looking at seven games considering how even these teams are. Oh, man, TSN Radio's Matt Cos making everybody work for it, literally. <laughs> it's not my fault. Don't blame me. All right, thanks, Matt. Yeah.